everybody welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another vlogtober video you guys it is getting close um today is uh october 25th so just about six more days and we will be done with vlogtober but it is 7 36 and the kids and i are just getting home from taekwondo i did not take my class tonight i took a sparring class last night and i have injured my knee well i didn't injure my knee my knee gives me trouble off and on so all that we were doing last night with those drills was not good today. So I had a little bit of trouble walking. Um, so I didn't stay for adult class. But the kids and I had a few errands to run. We got those done. So uh, we are getting ready to do dinner. And it's a late dinner and I hate cooking late. But this is just how it is. I didn't get a crock pot on this morning. So what I'm going to be doing is this um, keto broccoli cheddar soup. And this is from heyketomama.com. And we're just going to put this on. I would have liked to put it in the crock pot, but I was not able to do so. So what I'm going to do is put this soup on. Then I'm going to make like some chips I saw on Bless Jess's channel. She was making some cheese chips. So I'm going to do that. Put a little spin on it. And then I'm going to be working in my coffee station. So I thought you guys might want to come along as I did a few projects while the kids are getting cleaned up from... Um, they're getting cleaned up from Taekwondo, so I'm going to just get this meal going and work on a couple other things. So I got some butter in here, and I'm doubling the batch so that the kids and I can have lunches for tomorrow. So I am, I have uh, four tablespoons of butter and probably about a quarter cup of chopped onions in here. And I'm just going to let that kind of come up so that I can saute those onions before I put everything in. It really is kind of a dump meal where you just kind of toss everything in. I'm using steamable broccoli so it's going to uh, be able to cook a lot faster than it would if we were doing regular broccoli. And then I'm going to bring you over to the other side of the room and show, or the other side of the kitchen and show you what I'm working on over there. Alright you guys, I'm going to put together a quick taco seasoning. And a friend of mine, Miss Celeste, sent me this recipe. I've made it before, but I'm out. So I'm going to make it again. And it calls for three tablespoons of chili powder. I'm going to be using a half a tablespoon, so it'll look like I'm putting a whole lot in there. But I'm only, because I can get the half tablespoon. Well, I can't even get the half tablespoon in there. But... I might have enough to do half a batch because I don't have enough chili powder. I'm going to do half a tea, uh, one teaspoon of onion powder. Then I'm going to do half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm going to leave out the red pepper flakes because I don't have any and I don't have oregano but I'm going to do half a tea, half a tablespoon of paprika Ooh. or a little more <laughs> just depend on how you look at it and then two tablespoons of cumin All right, so I'm just going to take my spoon and stir, stir, stir. Really wish I had more of that um, chili seasoning. 
but I don't. A little more of the chili seasoning would have given it a little bit more of a red, red tint, but I was out, so it's totally fine. But the reason I wanted to make this taco seasoning is because I was craving kind of some sweet chili. So the sweet, uh, you know how you get the sweet chili chips? And um, I know I can't have that. And I found, this is like a smoked paprika, garlic, chili, and lime spice blend. I found this at um, TJ Maxx. And so I'm going to put a little bit of this in. I felt like it wasn't quite all the way what I would need for the sweet chili. But I felt like it might be okay. So I'm going to add some of that in there as well. And then I'll just use the rest of that for just cooking purposes. And then I'm going to stir that in as well. Now that part did not come with the recipe. I'm just adding, that's just a little Shakima add-in. And then, I know that this is uh, brown sugar trivia, and I know that it does have sugar in it. There's two total grams of sugar in one teaspoon. But I'm not going to have the whole teaspoon. I'm going to put it into this um, mixture. And so I'm going to do a cup. I'm going to do a tablespoon, which is about three teaspoons. Or maybe I only do two. I don't We'll see. Well, that's a half a tablespoon. So that's one whole tablespoon. There we go. Got my measuring utensils mixed up, y'all. Sorry. So I just put a tablespoon of the brown sugar in there and I'm gonna mix that up pretty good okay so I've moved back over here for just a sec because my onions were getting nice and toasted it smells really good I just added in a little bit of salt and pepper to the pan I've got the butter going and then I'm just gonna add in two it calls for one cup but I'm gonna add in two bags of broccoli. It's one cup for um, the original recipe, and I'm doubling this, but I want it to be broccoli heavy, so I'm probably putting way more broccoli in than I should, but I'm okay with that because it's a looser soup, and I want it to just have a little bit of sub substance to it. I am gonna add a little bit of the xanthan gum, but I did want it to have some more of the veggies I wanted it veggie heavy or broccoli heavy so I'm adding in way more broccoli than what it calls for and again I am okay with that and then I'm just gonna stir this around To that I'm gonna add in it says two cups of chicken stock but I only have um, two cups and since I'm doubling the recipe I need four cups so I'm gonna add in two bouillon cubes and two cups of water to hope that will give it a little bit, bit more of the chicken stock flavor I probably should add in three bouillon cubes but I'm just gonna do the two I'm trying to decide why it's not cooking and because I turned it down oops Oh, no, no, that was me because I didn't want your onions Oh, my onions to burn. Oh, thank you, Alon. Alon turned it down. She didn't want my onions to um, burn. So I do appreciate that. Jackson, will you come and help Mama with the trash? So the recipe implies that you're using fresh broccoli, so it tells you to add in the stock and the broccoli and cook it until the broccoli becomes soft. But because I use steamed broccoli, my broccoli is already soft. You can just dump that water out. So I am going to add in a little bit more of the um, salt, just because I added in that broccoli with no salt. And then a little bit more of the pepper. And actually... As I'm kind of just stirring this around, I'm kind of just using my um, spatula here to just kind of break up some of that broccoli. So I'm going to add in this whole can of stock. 
Now, since we are working under the assumption that my broccoli is tender, I'm going to go ahead and add in the remaining ingredients. So it's asking us for um, a teaspoon of garlic, minced garlic. It's asking me for a tablespoon of cream cheese, but I doubled this, so I'm going to make that two tablespoons of cream cheese. So I'm adding in the two tablespoons of cream cheese. Then I'm going to add in, that's going to be my teaspoon of garlic. And since that's just the end of that, we'll, we'll just finish this out. We'll just finish that out. us for a half a cup of heavy cream it's actually asking for a quarter cup but again we're doubling the recipe and the last thing we need is the cheddar cheese for two cups of cheddar cheese which is one bag and that is going to come to a boil and then I'm going to turn it back to simmer while we work on a couple other projects should not take long to eat dinner all right, so I'm getting ready to lay the cheese out on the tray, but I also had some pepperonis left from one of those um, cheese and pepperoni trays that I had bought to go on the business trip. So I just put everything in this Ziploc bag because I wanna make sure that I can get the seasonings on everything. And I figured if the cheese can become chips, so can the, uh, the pepperonis. So I think I'm going to do just a tablespoon of this taco mixture that I put a little bit of the Truvia brown sugar in. And maybe even just a half might be enough. I did spray a little bit of spray in here just because I wanted to make sure that the seasoning stuck. So I'm just going to give that a couple of good shakes and then lay everything out on my tray. Those are going into a 250 degree oven for 60 minutes. Okay, you guys, let me share with you what I'm thinking, right? So this, I bought this as a microwave cart and we put it in the middle of our kitchen to make kind of like a uh, island, give us some more prep space. And over here, I use this as my coffee station. But there are just some times, and right now I'm having one of those, where I'm experiencing like I have a lot of stuff. And so I am not, I don't know if it's the butterfly. I think the butterfly likes to see this stuff. I'm good without seeing mine. I'm definitely a cricket. So I'm going to be changing this cabinet. And see here, I've got pull drawer and then I have storage underneath there where I can just put all the coffee things there and then let me show you this because we went over to TJ Maxx because I was out of coffee cream I'm um, no not coffee cream I was out of the sugar-free syrup and so we found some over at TJ Maxx and I got glazed donut this is maple bourbon pecan mocha and this one was a pumpkin spice i'm not really a pumpkin spice person however um i picked it up to go with with and so i'm going to be placing those on that new station and seeing 
how we can just kind of declutter a few things. And then the other thing that I'm not loving is this big coffee pot because I never usually use this unless it's a weekend. But in my single serve coffee maker, I can use coffee grounds. So I'm totally getting rid of this. And then I'm going to move my KitchenAid over here and then make like this, at least the bottom half, my baking cabinet. So for my baking items and things that I'll be using for baking. And then that way I'm gonna be able to clear up a little bit of space on this shelf right here because for right now it's just a lot and for me this is a little bit I feel cluttered I feel like there's some stuff happening that I just need to fix and so I'm gonna work on that Um, there might also be a breakfast. Oh, yeah, there is a breakfast plan. There might still be a, like one or two decafs. I think it's fine. Something. We'll find a place for them. You got the waters? Yes, but is this enough? No, we'll need to refill it, but it can still go down there. Which shelf? The bottom shelf. But let's figure out what's down there. Uh, let's move that chopper thing out. And that's your big furniture. There's some other stuff we can still put down here that we don't use as often. Like the crock pot can stay in there. We don't use that all can the time. Can this fit down there, Mom? I need a little small one. That's too big. Let me see. You want to keep your breakfast? I need in the, there? the end cord needs to be a little longer. There? Where would you keep the, the small mixer now that you're using the big mixer? Probably, yeah. Yeah, just some things that we're not using all the time. Can go down there with no problem. Oh, that's a crop pot bag. We need that. Oh, we do. Right where you want to Up here? Yeah, up there. Yeah, just put, we can put back some of the things that we don't use on a regular basis, which would be absolutely fine to stay there. Can you find anything else? Um, it's got to be this and then these little things, these little pots. Okay, what about the tea kettle we can put down there? Or the, the one in the red the tea kettle we got. Oh my goodness. Oh, 35 minutes. No, that's a house plan. No, it's going to take a while. No, go ahead. Hold on, the sauce only got to price that one. Get no, that's fine. That's it's a little smaller because it won't be too fat to stick. Oh, that's, that's good. That's much yeah. smaller. See, we can just get, look, you can get it plugged in there and then you can tuck the cord back. Can you reach it or no? I can. Yeah, Ma, did you know Zach turned 15? No, I didn't until you said something. Who said that? You did. Oh, I did? Mm -hmm. 
Right, two days ago. We can serve the soup in those. Well, actually, I'm just saying that's what mm -hmm. they're for. Mm -hmm. They can go in the um, chicken to the goodwill. Okay, let's take this one to the garage. Good. We'll yep. let's take that to the garage. Did you get it plugged in, buddy? No. Can you see it? I know, I ain't at that point. What number is that? What color is that? Green. Green. Okay, you guys, so we got a lot of activity going on right now, but we thought we would show you what we worked on. So if you remember, right in here, we used to have a kitchen island, or it was a microwave cart that we actually turned into an island, but we have since moved it. And the kids are getting their dinners, but I'll show you here. I moved the uh, KitchenAid, I moved the planner, I put all of the cookbooks here. And then we put some of the baking things here just to kind of clean out. And then, of course, we use the waffle maker quite often. So we wanted to still make sure we had access to things, but we cleaned off that shelf just a little, combined a few things in here, and then that just freed up a little bit of things here. So we'll just get that all in there as well. The next thing we did was... We moved the knife block over here and just put our little pumpkin there to keep it kind of camouflaged. We moved the utensils here. But here it is, the piece de resistance. Actually, no, I just um, think this fits really well there in that space. It's our microwave cart, and I actually love how it just shows off my syrups and my sign my son gave me. All I need today is a little bit of coffee and a whole lot of Jesus. I just think it fits real well. Jackson actually ended up having to get a, an extension cord to plug in the coffee pot, but it works just fine. And then in here, we just put our pods. And then we had some extra creamers that I leave in there for guests and different things. And then down here that we don't use as much, we put the um, teas, this tea this um, cocoa, uh, mints, and then we have ground coffee. Behind there, you probably can't see it, but we have a crock pot, and then a couple other things we don't use as much, and then we just put some mortars in here, and then I put the blender for the bulletproof coffee here, and then we have the extension cord 
back there where we can just plug up the blender. And I actually just kept this glass thing here in case we wanna, you know, we make coffee here. So if we get a spill, this is easier to clean than the wood. So of course I chalk painted this two or three years ago and it's actually getting worn and I like the distressed look of that. So it's not quite farmhouse, but it's farmhouse Shakima and I'll take it. And of course there's our table. So I give you a view from this way. So when you walk in, you see the coffee station sitting there. And then we have the open space. Girl, bye. And here. And then let me show you how the soup turned out. And then we're going to call it a vlog. So the kids are having, this is what the soup ended up turning out to be. I put the xanthan gum in. It's still a little thin, but um, much thicker with the xanthan gum than it was without. And we just let that cook down. Jackson has put his cheddar biscuit in. And then these are the chips that we made and the um, salami. So we put that season on. And they actually sound just like chips. Taste one, Jack. And you do taste that seasoning. And they're not burnt, it's just that seasoning that I put on them is what make them a little darker because it was a taco seasoning. So they taste really good to us. So you guys, there it is. We're tired. I'm chewing pepperonis. Working on it. The kids are tired. Mom is tired. We're going to sit down and eat. It's right at 9, so we're going to sit down and eat, and then I'm going to edit this video, do Alana's hair real fast, then we're going to bed. So thank you guys so much for stopping by our channel for tonight's video, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.